an idea for relationships. How about you guys get out of your asses? Like, you really need to start giving each other some space. I'm talking about you, Mr. I love him or her more than I love myself. Because honestly, it's really bad when you find yourself in a situation in which you feel you are required by law, some unspoken law that no one has called me, SMSed me, messaged me, pagered me, or emailed me about, to constantly, constantly monitor your loved one's affairs and love life and whatever the fuck they might be doing in their free time. You see, in the last video, I ranted about privacy and social networks. Well, in this video, I'm continuing the subject in relationships because this shit has gone on for too damn long, guys. Really, too damn long. I see girls lurking through their guys' chats guys constantly being logged in to their girlfriend's social accounts you aren't you can't even say hi to anyone without getting some sort of shit and as a guy what kind of little dick do you have to have to actually think your girlfriend is constantly going to be cheating on you what kind of self confidence lacking asshole are you that you don't trust your woman so much that you need to constantly be logged on to her shit to her phone to her bird account and whatever that's really sad and as a man that's really bothering me because i look at people who are 30 25 28 you know that age group when guys and girls are supposed to be becoming adults well, supposed to is the right word, I suppose, because they aren't. They're staying in this age of like 13, 14, 15 years old, okay? When they're super jealous and cutesy and then And kind of romance is dead, let's admit it. It's just dead, it's out, it's completely gone. Uh, everyone's either way too shy or posting their genitals all over the internet and then suing whoever lo looks at them. And you have to really stand in awe when you consider that just five years ago, none of this was happening. What? It's 2013 now? Five years ago, in 2008, this shit wasn't going on, was it? Well, at least not in this amount. Every year it escalates, it escalates. The losing of pride private space escalates myspace you know myspace you know that website that used to exist to turn into a music band promotion fiasco you know why it turned into that because none of us has a space anymore we live in each other's space we only have community space and communal space which you can ha you you can't have anything of yours you can't have any privacy you can't have anything and people take it to relationships and people take it to levels on spying on your parents what what business is that of yours to spy on your mom or dad what business is that of yours stop spying on parents really stop that's embarrassing and ridiculous as fuck and on that note, I'll just conclude. Let's not spy on our loved ones and trust them for a change. Let's not overshare. Let's not spy on our parents or our children. Let's leave our children to do whatever the fuck they think is necessary because if we won't let them, they will never learn to do anything on their own. So just use some logic. And let's just be decent human beings for a little while for five minutes can i ask that of you thanks